edition of Up Close with Colin Thompson is sponsored by Lawson and Michelle Williams. In this episode, Harvey and sister Jacqueline Williams from Rough and Ready Racing are in studio. Let's get up close. And welcome back. For those just joining today, gives me great pleasure to have on board Rough and Ready Racing with Mr. Harvey Williams and his sister Jacqueline. Um, and of course, they are the reigning California Independent Funny Car Champions, um, a drag racing, Bermudian drag racing syndicate over there in California, making their presence felt. Guys, you know, I'm so, so, so happy to have you on board, you know, but before we go any further, Harvey, how did you get into drag racing? Well, I got into drag racing, really, it started off with my, uh, my father and his friends, in Bermuda, uh, doing the, the boat racing in Bermuda. Um, always was into, you know, racing. And so what happened is uh, a lot of people out here ask me all the time, how did you even get into uh, drag racing? And I said, well, definitely was not in Bermuda. But the racing of the go-karts, the motocross in Bermuda, and I remember my dad taking me and watching me uh, with all that, especially when my uh, my cousins, the older than me, uh, Flicky and Andy, they had a boat, and they still race the Bermuda to today, by my uh, understanding. And so always racing's been in our community. It's just, we when we moved out here in California in, in the 80s, um, it really uh, got into me about doing the drag racing on the cars. But at the same time, I do drag boats too. So that's how I got into it, really. Wow, drag boats, amazing. Jacqueline, <laughs> you heard another one with Jacqueline. <laughs> the gift that keeps giving, wow, that, that's amazing. That is amazing. So, so, yeah. so you race boats here as well? Yes, actually, yeah. uh, like our family, our uh, family still race in Bermuda to today, doing the, uh, the, uh, the race boat uh, series in Bermuda. Um, They've done the round around Allen race uh, quite a few times. I want to say at least about over 15 times I know of. Um, I remember when I was like about seven years old, go watch him race in, when I was living in uh, Bermuda. Uh, when I used to go back every summer in the 80s and 90s. And um, I've always, my mom and dad always took us down there and watched the boat race, you know, uh, offshore. So to me, it's always been in my, my blood. Wow, that's that's amazing. Because I was wondering, you know, did you have any um, experience here, perhaps in like go karts? Because I mean, that's the closest we have to to car racing in Bermuda. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, actually, I um, I never drove. I'm always been the scary guy to drive. <laughs> uh, but I like doing the mechanic parts of it. You know, I like to, to tune on the motors and and figure out how to make it go faster or or make it handle better. That's always been my thing. I get shaky and nervous when I start to dry stuff, but uh, I, I, I actually give people the opportunity to drive my car. Um, I actually take the youth and I watch them from doing junior dragsters all the way up to they turn like 25 years old. I've got one like 26 years old um, that I watched from drag race from a little kid and put them in my car, drove my car and moved on. So um, it's, it's a good thing. I, I think you guys are, are pioneers because I, I can't recall any Bermudian drag racing, drag racing team or, or, or participants, uh, for lack of a better word. I, I can't re recall that. So, so maybe you're, you're a trailblazer in that regard. You know, how do you feel about that? You know what? Um, considering that, like, we are, like, Nick, possibly like, the first, like, Bermudians, you know, to just go outside and just drag race itself, like, it's it's an amazing feeling for sure. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that, like, you know, we love the spotlight, but it's definitely, like, a target, like, on your back, per se, not in a bad way, but in a good way, because anyone looks up to you and you're like, oh, my God, like, you guys have, like, you know, went from such, like, a small island to, like, you know, Sunnyside, California, as they want to say, and, you know, make something of yourself. And I think to have some sort of, like, background, you know, coming from a family who used to do, like, powerboat racing and, you know, just be into just boats and water and everything in general, and then go from, like, you know, water to land, that's, like, a huge thing for us. And I can say that it's honestly, like, 
an amazing feeling to have. And I know a lot of people look up to us also, you know. Yeah, you know, when people ask us about uh, uh, racing, it's actually been in our family, even with the girls, with the horseback riding racing and competition, um, tennis, golf. It, it's been in the William side, the family, real deep for a long period of time. It just didn't start uh, in the 90s. It started back in the 70s and 60s, even with my grandfather. My father doing the sailboat racing in Bermuda. Um, uh, so even as a young kid, like I think I was three months years old. <laughs> and my dad was down St. George's at the sailboat yacht club. And it was a windy day. My dad put me in the bilge of the bottom of the boat, wrapped me up, <laughs> and took me out there sailing. I was three months old. And got out of the water, you know, I, I didn't know, I was an infant. And my, my dad got in a little trouble. But he said, it's my kid. <laughs> and so when I do the, this drag racing, I think of all that history of definitely where I come from, Bermuda. I, I, everybody asks me all the time, like, uh, how did you even like, know anything of this stuff? And I always tell them a little history about Bermuda. And so when they, they see me at a racetrack anywhere in the United States, they know me from that's that little Bermudian guy. Don't mess with him. He knows how to tune any vehicle out here. So it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Wow, and, and, and also you're, you're, you're related to the great Sir Stanley Burgess, champion runner in Bermuda? Yeah, yes. and, and you know, it's <laughs> and, it, you and it's the month that, of May. I mean, he, he dominated the May 24 race, so how appropriate. The time, it couldn't be any better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? Um, I know for me, like, I ran track and field, like, my entire life. And I know, like, once I got into high school, like, I had ran track and field then, and even before, and a one would be like, where are you from? I'm like, Bermuda. I was like, oh, we're going to, like, they gave, like, my number was, like, 121. Uh, and so they would call me Bermuda 121 sometimes. And so to have, like, a great uncle who used to run and whatnot, like, it's an amazing, like I said, it's one of those ones where you have to let people know that's the history. Like, it's been in the family for so long, you know, it's that it's just not, you know, here I am. You know, and like Harvey said, it's not like, the, you know, the 90s or the 80s. Like, it's been there, you know, yeah. in, in the root of the family. Yeah, like even me. Um, I used to run in, uh, when I was in high school, junior high. Uh, actually ran in Bermuda, um, the marathon. I run there twice. Um, so I really was a runner. I liked to run. I was a long distance runner. I was pretty good at it. Um, but at one time in life, things got a little rough for me in life. Uh, and I stopped running, but I always wanted to make a, <clears throat> um, some kind of uh, history in my life for my leave our family uh, some type of history. And I became good at mechanics and working on these race cars. People hired me all around the United States to go tune the car. Even like this weekend, what passed here, uh, average guy might work on one car. This weekend, I was tuning on five different cars, and. Um, so my trademark on this drag racing is pretty good. And I feel real proud about that. And definitely my sister, my two boys, um, that's Nadia and Harvey that are with me all the time. And so it's a good feeling that it's just not me. It, it, it's my family, my blood family here with me too. And, so and, and you, it you, makes it good. You, you mentioned about racing, you know, it's in the genes, it's in the blood, um, you know, mechanics. You know, is in engineering. You know, skills, qualities, attributes is in, is in the blood, in the genes, in the DNA. Um, you know, did did you get, did you go to school for that, or, or did you learn that in school here, or maybe no. abroad, or no. just just natural? No, actually, it's it's funny. Um, when I was going through high school, I even though a lot of the woodwork, because that's mostly why I do a lot of woodwork too, I learned from my grandfather, and then. Um, with my dad living out here, he was a body man doing body work. Uh, I learned from him. And then so I, and growing up in San Jose, California, because I didn't live here in Sacramento first, I used to, I lived on a major street and everybody knew me as working on the cars, all the, all the neighborhood guys' cars to go faster and faster. I never went to school for it. I never took no programs for nothing to do mechanics. Everything I learned 
it was from my grandfather to my my uncles to my father and good friends people who i met on the way so it's been yeah it's been it's been a real positive thing in life yeah we're gonna pause for a minute folks we'll be right back okay. with more from rough and ready racing <laughs> 